truly what made me become a pro was just the love for football. Wanting to go kick on a rainy day, on a snowy day, when it was sunlight out, when it was dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just continuously keep growing as I got older because I kept getting better. Mm -hmm. Playing professionally became more and more realistic. Yeah. That's really how I identified why I should continue. Because I mean, at any given point, if I was like 16 and I would have seen that like, hey, like my progression is kind of stunting or like I'm plateauing or I most likely would have pivoted and probably just done something else. I just kept seeing progression and I kept seeing that I was standing out in different categories and um, yeah, I just loved it. I just really in and out loved football. Mm -hmm. What did, uh, what did Jeremy see in you um, and what did you see in yourself looking back? You know, how did he identify you as, as such a standout player and what helped you play three years up? Yeah, well, that, pretty much what I described early on yeah. was that it was really my, my way of staying busy. I was running down the channels, stretching defenders. Yeah. I was creating a lot of space for our midfield, for our wingers to attack spaces that are very dangerous uh, by, you know, obviously dragging players into different positions. Mm. Um, and uh, that was that tangible thing that he loved about me. It was of my work rate and my and my runs, and obviously, which which is quite uh, evident, which is a byproduct of it, was my endurance and my, my work rate. Yeah. Um, I was a very uh, very durable player. Very, mm. my stamina was very very mm. good. Um, How did you develop that stamina? How did you develop that busyness and that work rate? Was that innate? Was that um, you know through through family development? Was that uh, playing on the streets with with friends? Yeah. How how did how did you develop that? Yeah, I um, I have I'm actually like a first generation footballer. Like I never had anyone in my family that uh, actively pursued trying to play at any yeah. relative level. That's interesting. Mm, mm. Uh, so I'm like a first generation footballer. Uh, in my family, everybody just liked it for fun, just yeah, supported yeah. it, so it didn't come from my family. Mm -hmm. um, my, my parents are relatively athletic, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah. there's, they, 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 were, they were good athletes. Yeah, they weren't yeah. like, you know, elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I wouldn't say it came from my family. I'd say really, like I, like I mentioned really early on, it, like, Football was always my like outlet. Yeah. Like and I guess I'll say this openly, like I never really never had a like a girl crazy phase. I never really chased women. I was always playing. Always playing. I studying was close your ears, but uh, was in my mind, always secondary. Um but you know, I, I did what I needed to do. Yeah. I got my grades, I knew if I needed to study, I invested, but the second I felt like I was there, like, you know, in high school, I was an average 3.5 GPA grade student, I wasn't like, you know, a 4.0 AP classes, honors class, I, I took some honors, yeah, but yeah. I, I just did what was necessary, right, and um, to get me to college, and, mm -hmm. and, and I did a decent SAT, so I guess to kind of like uh, paint the picture there for my, my educational background, um, I just truly invested all my time uh, with the ball in my foot. Like I would go get a ball and I would call, hit up a friend uh, before, this was before Facebook, before WhatsApp, mm -hmm. like it would just go ring on the door yeah. and ask, hey, you want to come kick around whatever? And, and if, they, if they weren't around, I'd just go by myself. Um, yeah. And honestly, I never bored myself, never bored myself. I just literally for hours would just kick the ball and, um, it was never something that I was just like trying to perfect. I mean, when you're a kid, you're just out there yeah. kicking a ball and you're chasing it. Fun, yeah, exactly. Just and, and, and that's, I feel like, really how I progressed. Honestly, like that mm -hmm. truly what made me become a pro was just the love for football and just really just wanting to go kick on a rainy day, on a snowy day, when it was sunlight out, when it was mm -hmm. dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what made me. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I think that just continuously keep growing as I got older because I kept getting better. Mm -hmm. I kept getting recognized. I kept getting, how do I say, I guess prof playing professionally became more and more realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's really how I identified why or how, um, why I should continue. Because I mean, at any given point, if I was like 16, and I would have seen that like, hey, like my progression is kind of stunting or like I'm plateauing mm -hmm. or I 
most likely would have pivoted and probably just done something else. Mm -hmm. But I just kept seeing progression and I kept seeing that I was standing out in different categories. And um, yeah, I just loved it. I just Mm -hmm. really in and out love football. Mm -hmm.